These were the two equations we looked at in the previous part of the lesson. We want to solve for the values of x and y using determinants and matrices. So we wrote this system of equations in the matrix form. Like this. We have three matrices here. We call them matrix A, matrix X and matrix B. A times X is equal to B. So if we multiply both sides with A inverse, we get X on the left hand side and A inverse times B on the right hand side. So what we need is X as that will give us the values of X and Y. We have B and we can find A inverse using the adjoint formula. Let's zoom out and find the value of A inverse. It will equal 1 over the determinant of A times the adjoint of A. And there was a condition which said that the determinant of A should not be equal to 0. So let's find the determinant of A first. It will equal 2 times 2 minus negative 1 multiplied by 3. That will equal 4 plus 3 which equals 7. As it's non-zero, the inverse of the matrix will exist. Now let's find the adjoint of A. Do you remember the shortcut to find the adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix? Interchange these two and change the sign of these two elements. As these two are the same, interchanging them will also give us 2 and 2. Changing the sign of minus 1, we get 1. And changing the sign of this, we get minus 3. This is the adjoint of A. With these two, we get the inverse of A. Let's write it on the right hand side. This is A inverse, 1 over the determinant times the adjoint of A. Don't solve for the A inverse immediately. Keep it as is. You'll soon know why. Now that we have A inverse, we come back to this formula. X is equal to A inverse times B. Matrix X is XY. A inverse is this. And matrix B is 4, 13. This is A inverse and this is matrix B. This will equal 1 over 7 multiplied by this product. How do we find this product of matrices? The order of this matrix is 2 by 2 and that of this matrix is 2 by 1. As the second and the third number are equal, they are compatible for multiplication. And the order of the resulting matrix will be first number by the fourth number. So the order of the resulting matrix will be 2 by 1. Two rows and one column. The element in this position will equal 2 times 4 plus 1 times 13. That will equal 8 plus 13 or 21. What about the element in this position? It will be negative 3 times 4 plus 2 times 13. Negative 12 plus 26 will equal 14. Now we solve this by multiplying the scalar with each element. If we would have multiplied the scalar in this step, then this multiplication would have been very difficult. Because each element would have had the denominator 7. So we just wait for the final product and then multiply the scalar. What will this product be equal to? 1 over 7 times 21 will equal 3. And 1 over 7 times 14 will equal 2. That's it. We have got the matrix X. The variable X will be equal to 3 and the variable Y will be equal to 2. That's how we solve a system of linear equations using matrices. We write it in the matrix form. Then we write X like this. Then we find the A inverse multiplied with matrix B to get the variable values. In the next lesson, we will try to solve a system of three linear equations using matrices.